Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to the Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss anatomy of the ureter part 1. Ureter are tube made of smooth muscle that propel urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. The length of ureter 25 cm, average 25 cm. In neonate, the average length is 6.5 to 7 cm. Diameter 1.5 to 6 millimeter. According to the international anatomical terminology, ureter consists of a abdominal part, pelvic part, and intermural part. It is a rectoperitoneal structure. It has three constriction at the pelvic ureter junction when it crosses the pelvic rib and when it enters within the urinary bladder. This is the diameter of the constriction. First constriction, two millimeter second constriction 4 mm and intermural part 1 to 4 mm. In radiographically we can identify the constriction of the ureter. This is the second lumbar vertebra, this is transverse process, this is the tip of the transverse process. In front of the tip of the transverse process the pelvic ureteric junction is present. And th this is the sacroiliac joint. This is the area of the second constriction when the ureter cross the pelvic brim. When ureter enter within the urinary bladders, the intermural segment is situated in front of the ischial spine. Ureter present in front of the source major muscle and genitofemoral nerve. In front of the ureter, the gonadal vessels is pass. The relation of the right ureter and left ureter is different. In front of the right ureter, following structure is present. The second part of the duodenum or at the junction of the second or third part of the duodenum. Right colic vessel, iliocolic vessel, right ureter, uh, testicular vessels, root of the mesentery. And in case left ureter, left colic vessels, sigmoidal vessels, and sigmoid mesocolon. And this is the posterior relation of the right ureter and left ureter. This is the duodenum, this is the second part, this is the third part, and ureter pass at the junction of the second and third part of the duodenum. So above downward, the following structure are crossed in front of the right ureter. At first, the third part of the duodenum, then the right colic vessels, then the iliocolic vessel, right gonadal vessel, and root of the mesentery. Left ureter is situated just lateral to the inferior mesenteric artery. And above downward falling structure present in front of the left ureter, left colic vessels, sigmoidal vessels, the left gonadal vessel, sigmoid mesocolon. So this is the abdominal aorta, inferior mesenteric artery, this is the left colic artery, this is the sigmoidal artery and here present the sigmoid mesocolon. So this structure is crossed by left ureter. The artery supply of the ureter. Ureter is a long tube so it get artery supply from many source, many nearby blood vessel. From above part it get nutritional supply from renal artery. In the lower part it get nutritional supply from the artery of urinary bladder, uterus, vagina, rectum and in the middle part it get nutritional supply from nearby artery. So the upper part is supplied by the branch from the renal artery then it also get uh, nutritional supply from the gonadal artery because gonadal artery cross in front of the ureter. It get direct uh, blood supply from the abdominal aorta, it get blood supply from 
common iliac when it cross the pelvic frame, the uh, second constriction present also here. This is the internal iliac, this is external iliac, it also get blood supply from the internal iliac and this is urinary bladder, it has two blood supply superior inferior vesicular artery. So, it get both branch um, from superior inferior vesicular artery and in case female it gets also additional two supply from uterine artery from vaginal artery and in case male and female it gets nutritional supply from the middle rectal artery. The venous turnus, venous blood from the ureter is drained into the vein corresponding to the artery and lymphatic drainage, the lymph from the ureter is drained into the lateral aortic and iliac nerves. The nerve supply, sympathetic supply of the ureter is derived from the thoracic 12 to lumbar 1 spinal segment through renal aortic hypogastric plexus. The parasympathetic supply of the ureter is derived from sectoral 2 and sectoral 4 spinal segment through pelvic sprachnic nerve. The efferent fiber travel with both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve. Now the histology of the ureter. Ureter from inward to outward, it has mucosa, muscularis externa and adventitia. So the mucosa, this is the lining epithelium. This is the transitional epithelium, stratified epithelium and this is lamina propria which formed by the loose connective tissue contain vessels and nerve. This is the muscular part, it has um, inner longitudinal, middle circular and outer longitudinal smooth muscle cell group. The outer adventitia is formed by the dense irregular connective tissue and this is the blood supply of the ureter and this blood supply is entered within the tissue and this artery is no, name of the artery is uh, perforating branch and in the adventitia this blood vessel from a plexus and from the plexus this uh, perforating artery is arise and it cross the muscular layer and entered within the lamina propria and within the lamina propria it also form a mucosal vascular network. Now the development of the ureter, uh, this is the mesonephric duct which is arises from the intermediate mesoderm. Uh, you know about the intermediate mesoderm, it is the part of the intra embryonic mesoderm and from this mesonephric duct the ureteric part is appear and Irritated part is uh, ascent, uh, ascent and it is meet with the metanephric blastoma of the kidney. So, ureter is developed from ureteric birth which is derived from the mesonephric duct. And later the caudal part of the mesonephric duct is absorbed and the lower part of the ureter directly opened into the urinary bladder. Now the congenital anomaly of the ureter, double pelvis, bifid ureter, bifid ureter with two mm, uh, opening, aptic ureteric orifice, one is normal, another um, opening is abnormal, megalo ureter and this is the post caval ureter. So, this is all about the brief discussion about anatomy of the ureter. If you like this video, please press the like button, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.